Well, guys, the judge charged the six-member jury with their duties and responsibilities, and then testimony was off and running with opening statements made by both attorneys and calling the first plaintiff to the stand, an FBI agent who responded to the 2012 massacre. You know, we're looking everywhere. Just want to find something. One of the Alex Jones defamation trials saw a raw emotion on display as witnesses recounted the 2012 massacre that took 26 lives. Plaintiff and FBI agent Bill Aldenberg took the stand. Those children real? It's awful. It's awful. But just hours after the massacre, conspiracy theorist and InfoWars host Alex Jones said it was a hoax and that the families were actors. They are launching attacks. They're getting ready. I can see them warming up with Obama. They've got a bigger majority in the Congress now in the Senate. They are going to come after our guns, look for mass shootings. And then magically it happens. Chris Maddy, the attorney for the victims' families, argued Jones's lies led to threats. You can see. Days after the shooting, Alex Jones's listeners latched onto this. Described by Agent Aldenberg. Death threats, people calling all kinds of numbers in Newtown, saying that this is Adam Lanza. I'm going to come and kill you all. While attorney for Alex Jones, Norm Pattis downplayed Jones's inflammatory rhetoric as free speech to decipher the millions of fools, the millions of deplorables, the millions of mega Republicans, what people can and can't watch in this country because they've transformed the hearing and damages. They've transformed money into a political weapon in this trial. And what remains to be seen in this case is just how much money the victims' families will get. Jones was ordered to pay $50 million in a similar case to the family of victim, Sandy Hook victim Jesse Lewis. That was a trial that happened recently in Texas. Jones's company, InfoWars, has already filed for bankruptcy. We're live here outside Waterbury Superior Court. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.